everyone, it's Lisa, and today I have kind of a different type of video. You guys always help me with so many different things, and I love that we can read down the comments and get different tips from different people. You guys have helped me so much with like, with everything. I have some questions that I have written down, just different things that you would ask a friend, and different tips. Gosh, we have so many people here right now. The um, new, the buyers and the home inspector is here and the real estate agents, but you know, <laughs> you have to carry on. First thing is duvets. I, or the, not the, I always get confused. Okay, the duvet is the cover, but what is the, no, the duvet is the quilt. Whatever the insert is, that's what I mean. I need a new one, and I want one that is luxe, that is plush, that is thick, but is not hot. So I would love to know, I've always gotten mine, I think one of them is Tommy Bahama, and one of them is Eddie Bauer, I just got them from Home Goods. I have that little thin, basic Pottery Barn cover on mine that I have two of, and I take them off and wash them, because my cats get hair and John eats in the bed, and oh, that's another thing I wanted to say too about him snoring. He has gotten better. It happens, he finally admitted he took a Tylenol PM. That usually happens when he takes any type of sleeping pill, and that goes into he has had a sleep study. He has been tested for everything you guys were asking me about with the CPAP and everything, and um, he doesn't have it bad enough that he has to do anything, but there was a time where he took sleeping pills, and I'm telling you, it's a different type of snore. This wasn't as bad as it is if he takes a true sleeping pill, but it was, I could tell he took something, and he finally said it was Tylenol PM. Difference is, typically if he's snoring and I wake him up, it goes away. I mean, maybe two times, but that one just wasn't going away. I could tell it was something different. So thank you for all your input on that too. Okay, but anyway, I want a nice big plush duvet that is not too hot or the insert. The next thing is when we move, I am going to throw away both of the kids' mattresses. Will has an old mattress of ours and then Brooke has a twin mattress I think it's like a foam mattress that I just purchased off of Amazon. When she moved, it was years and years and years ago, she moved from the room over the garage. That was her bedroom when she was small. We've gone back and forth. But when she moved back in her room, because her room is small, we, you know, got her the smaller mattress. Okay, I'm getting rid of both of those. I will probably throw them in the dump. And I want to get both of them new mattresses. And I think I want to get both of them... A, just a full. I think that's a really good size for, you know, their ages and, you know, that will be good for Brooke to take, you know, whenever she moves out. And another thing is I am going to have my own room when we build our house. The whole upstairs is going to be mine. So I will have like a whole, you know, open area and then I'll have a whole like bedroom, a whole full bath, a whole closet, and then another closet that's all gonna be mine. So I will have a place where I can go sleep if John, you know, I feel bad about it because I want him to be able to sleep too and they can't help it if they're snoring, but I'm telling you, that is some deep anger. I think what happened that night is I just should have gotten up. I shouldn't have just sat there and stewed over it. You know what I mean? I will have my own room and I don't think there is anything wrong with sleeping in different beds or different rooms. I had one set of grandparents that did and one set of grandparents that didn't. And I do remember when I was little thinking that was so weird. But they had like an adjoining door and, you know, but she told me, and it was true, my granddaddy had restless leg syndrome and he snored. So it made perfect sense, really. And we would sleep with my grandma when we spent the night. It was so cute. And she would give us uh, flashlights. And we, you know, play on the ceiling with the flashlights. I mean, the good old simple days before phones. And, you know, then my brother and I would go to sleep. And then you'd hear her in there 
doing the dishes and stuff from dinner and cleaning up and then she would come to bed with us. So that is a big question. I was thinking Casper, purple mattress, you know, I want to get them um, one. I, I really think the foam might be cool and it will be easy in the move. And then, oh goodness, hold on, it's John. Okay, you guys, where was I? Okay. I, oh gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, something about the mattresses or whatever. Um, oh well, I'm sure I'll think about it if it was important. Okay, the next thing is moving packing tips. We are having a, okay, we get our rental house on November 2nd. We're supposed to close on the 17th and we have a moving company coming on the 9th to help us move the big stuff. But we can start moving little stuff before then, as which is what I want to do. So I would love if for those of you that, that have any packing or moving tips, especially people that have done what we're doing, where you're having to, I mean, it would be one thing if I was just moving right into the house I'm going to live in, but the fact that we're moving into a rental house only until June, I, I don't want to, you know, really live out of boxes, but I don't want to do anything I don't have to do. I want to keep everything as boxed up as possible. If you've had that happen, I know a lot of you have. I know most people move more than we have. I really think that might be a Southern thing that you, I don't know, who knows? Oh, and so many people comment on my accent, which I do realize I have a Southern accent, but I always thought it would be fun. Tell me the words down below that I say that you can hear my southern accent the most. I just, I'm just curious because, you know, I don't hear it that much because I'm used to it. So that is something I've always wanted to ask you. The moving packing tips and then this, I will go into my hair. I, um, you'll see in my video that I will post maybe tomorrow night that I had had my hair done on Saturday we did something new we did a instead of doing bleach or the color I usually do we did a high lift blonde and I took a picture of it and I've got the name of it I'll put it put it down below and she said the reason this would really work well for me is because I like a yellowy buttery warm blonde I feel like it's much more flattering on me I, f I really feel like it's more flattering on most people if you go back in my older videos, you can see I've done platinum and it just was not good. Not good. I mean, I didn't even like it when I had it, but when I look back, woo, it was harsh. And it's a look. I understand it's a look that some people like. I think the best I've ever seen is in the fro. She has the best platinum hair ever. I'll put my hair color down below and then she did a blowout and I did a little bit of her technique in the video, in the vlog too. And then you'll see it later in the vlog the next day. And it's just a very smooth, bouncy blowout. But I could not help but do it again, a blowout of my own last night because I think I like my crazy blowout better. And she had told me about this. She said that this is, because I asked her, you know, what are some things that I can get that will help a blowout stay? You know, stay separated and stay funky and stay curled on the ends just for at least a couple of days. And she mentioned this. So you'll see in the vlog, I'll go get this. But I used it last night. I messaged her and she said a little goes a long way. I don't know if I used enough. I used only about between a nickel and a quarter size amount. So not a lot. And then I put it all over and I think I combed it through. And then I also used um, Orbe oil, and then I used my Kenra blow dry spray. And that's what I used. So that is what I used today. I used two packs of the dry bar Velcro rollers. I'll put a picture in here. You'll see I curled my whole entire head. I think I had one roller left over and I would say at this moment, I think the mousse that I used the last time has more hold already, but I don't know if I used enough of this. 
So I've had a lot of you request that I do a blowout for you. I'm going to wait until I feel really good on my technique and the products that I want to use. I want to take time to experiment with some more because um, Morgan also told me about a really cool product from Orbe that I'm going to try. And then I ordered something else from Kerastase, something I've used before in the past. And so that will be just an ongoing adventure, but I think it'll be fun. Okay, so the next question and the last question I'll ask you is, I know a lot of you said to preserve your blowout, sleep with your hair up. And I asked Morgan about that. I asked her about breakage because there's plenty of people that'll tell you that breaks off your hair. So I would rather my blowout not last than break my hair, hands down. What Morgan said to do is, she said either one of these and don't put it up until you are literally laying your head down on the pillow and make it loose. So that's what I've been doing. If you have any other tips and which one of these do you prefer? Both of them to me keep your hair from getting the dent. This one to me, I don't know, I feel like, especially this one's not stretched out enough when they get good and stretched out. I feel like I can put this on and it doesn't even press my curls as much. But, and then another thing is, do you do like a messy bun or do you swirl it on top of your head with your hands and then kind of put the scrunchie over it? What do you do? Let me know your tips because you guys have great tips. I think we can all help each other. That's what my channel is about. It's not all about me. It's about us helping each other. I mean, I have definitely learned that through the years that it's it's amazing everybody knows something you don't everybody does and for jewelry i have on these fabulous dean davidson earrings from his manhattan collection i have the ring i've been wearing this like non-stop i have my new sheila fajal necklace on and i will also um, tell you about this nail polish in the vlog coming up if you've been with me you know what it is and that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Pay attention and look for my vlog that I will probably post either tomorrow or the next day. And I will see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye.